Hey guys, okay, so uh, we're going to um, be working on keywords for this quick little case study uh, made for AdSense sites. I'm sure Matt Cutts is probably already all over this case study. He's like, hey, we're not going to do any, let this guy rank anything, but let's give it a try and see if it works. I have a really unique system for picking out keywords um, that I think a lot of people, um, it, it works really well for me. and. I, it's actually so effective I'm kind of hesitant to show it to anybody but you know it works for me and what good am I running a make money online blog if I don't show you how I make money online so what I use is two tools called fresh key and Longtail pro and right now on the screen you see fresh key and it's only a twenty dollar tool works out really sweetly and what you do is you type in the keyword you're looking for in this case we'll start with that first keyword men's ruby rings and tell it to get keywords and it's going to go through and it's going to search Google, uh, Google Suggest Tool, and pull up um, keywords. And then I can also do it for Amazon if I want to. Also, I can pull trends if I want to. I never really bother with those. The Google tool tends to do everything I need. Only takes uh, about a minute or so to run. Uh, you see we currently have 38 results. And I just ran it a second ago. It should end up with about 67 results. Um, and actually, I think what I'm going to do is I ran it as men's ruby ring. I think I'm actually going to rerun it with men ruby ring and see if we get a few more results. You see here showing some apostrophes in here. Gives it a little more leeway to play with that word. And I probably could have gotten rid of the S on the end of rings and would have gotten a few more. So we'll let this uh, run for a little bit and uh, come back with these cute. All right, so while I had the video paused, I went ahead and ran through a few other variations, men ruby ring. Uh, some things like that. And it turns out men's ruby rings gave back the most results with 67 results. Um, if you're not, if you're only using one or two words up here, sometimes you'll get 300 some results to go through. But since this is going to be only a probably a five-page site, um, I don't have to be too crazy about this. I just save this to a file named Keywords, and every time I use it, I just write over the file because I, I only use it for a minute. I'm going to hop over here, um, open the file if it will let me. Here. There's my file. Pretty straightforward. Saw some characters here. Sometimes it pulls in crazy characters. There we go. That's supposed to be an apostrophe. I'm going to make sure I change all of those really quickly with a quick find and replace. Otherwise, the AdWords tool can't use it. That's that character right there. Tell it to replace those with apostrophe with apostrophes. There we go. Okay. Let's do this again. If you haven't noticed, I make most of my movies at night. I don't know why. Maybe be, maybe because I'm too tired to actually work. All right. I want to come over to Longtail Pr Platinum. And the platinum just means I pay the extra money each month for the Longtail Pro to get the uh, average keyword score. I'm going to just copy paste that list of keywords from here right into here. And then I really don't need to apply any filters on here, but let's make sure I get at least 10 monthly searches. And we'll tell that to generate keywords. And I do wish Longtail Platinum was a faster program, but it just re it's relying on so many different APIs. It can only go so fast. Um, so you just kind of have to deal with it and let it be how it is. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so you don't end up having to wait for software to do its work. All right, so it got those loaded. We have 20 keywords that have over uh, 10 monthly searches. So I'm just going to skim through here. And I this is this nice little calculate feature that comes since I have... Um, the Longtail Platinum. Those of you who just have Longtail Pro will need to click on the keywords and actually go look at them um, one by one and see if you want to try to rank for it like this one. Um, see what it th throws at us. A lot of really low page authority so and some error messages. Uh, a lot of low page authority so probably a lot of good stuff to try to rank for. Kind of a higher keyword competitiveness and that's because these domains are so strong. 
um, but they really don't have a lot of links to them so you know who knows maybe a good one, good one to shoot for what I've done is I've just sorted these by local by the number of local searches and we'll just pick out some of these yellow gold see these are all shopping keywords e-commerce keywords men's yellow gold ruby rings that's not has nothing to do with the review so I don't know why Google would list a review site for it but you know Empire Flipper says they're getting success with it and maybe there's something we're missing you know maybe they got a secret figured out um, but I mean if it'll rank for it I mean if there's a chance of it ranking I should have the skill set to rank it so it's worth a shot alright so we have some decent ones here we're already going to be this is our main site right um, and then we have this I don't know about antique I'd like to try some affiliate programs there's a 226 AdSense let's go for that one um, $1.77 with a score of 30 let's go with that one of course it's all average so pinky rings that'd probably be a fun one to do on wedding rings and I now have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that looks like plenty. All right, sounds good. So that's men's ruby rings. And then um, I'm doing the same thing. I've already put in purple engagement rings. It's going to uh, export the file. I've already exported the file. And then I just come over here, um, open my file, and do the same thing for the purple engagement rings. So I'm going to post these uh, keywords on lostcyclist.me so those of you who follow me in the case study can see what keywords I went with and um, get started making some articles and I will catch up with you soon